Hello guys, welcome to another episode. My name is Don Alabi. In this episode, we are going to look at how to use layers, mask and brush in Capture One. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't get to miss my other episodes. There are many reasons why you would want to use layers in Capture One. If you know how to use Photoshop, you realize that Photoshop deals with layers. Now Capture One has incorporated this philosophy of using layers and it makes editing in Capture One very, very much like in Photoshop. Certain things, you know, instead of doing them in Photoshop, you can decide to do them in Capture One because you can create layers. Now, layers help you separate, you know, the edits you do, or you can use layers with the help of masks and uh, brushing to restrict some of the adjustments to certain areas. So, in this episode, we are going to learn exactly how to do that. So let's start with layers. Over here, if you look at this side, you realize that there is a plus over here with a small arrow. Anytime you see a plus with an arrow, it means there is something more down there. So when you click and hold, it gives you a context menu. Now we have new empty layer, new field layer, new clone layer, new heal layer. They all have their purposes. Now we'll be talking about these two for now. New empty layer just does exactly that. It gives you an empty layer. A new field layer gives you a layer that has um, the mask already selected for the full image. Now let's go with this one. So a new layer, see, it gives you layer one, just like in Photoshop. You can create as many layers as you need. Now this particular one, if you press on the M to reveal the mask, you realize there's no mask because it is an empty layer. Let's create another one field layer now this with the mask selected you realize the whole image is masked now we have uh, various instances where you choose to use an empty layer or a field layer let's look at both of them let's delete this one first and take this one so let's create an empty layer i choose to use an empty layer one area i'm going to work on is smaller that means it will be easier for me to brush in there than to erase it i hope you understand so let's say this particular one i want to work on the flies here let's say they are too bright and i would want to reduce the opacity or the brightness of these flies without affecting other parts of this image so I have my empty layer created. If we enable the mask, we don't see anything. So I'll use the brush tool to select just the flowers so that I'll be able to work on. So with that, this we select the brush. And if you right click, see it gives you settings. I think I will do another video to focus on just the brush. So for now, we just leave it as it is like this. And then we start brushing on our flower. So if we brush here, the mask has been disabled. So let's enable the mask. Precise selection. But just because this is a tutorial, I'll just make a rough selection around the flower. So you see, we have just the flower selected. So we can press M to take off the mask. Now we can rename this layer here to flowers. That's a good thing about this. Just like in Photoshop, you can do, you can treat your layers here same way. So now we have the selection for only this part. So now every adjustment we make affects only that. So something realistic that we might want to do is highlight. You see? So it brings the flower into. Now you realize we selected beyond the flower. As I said, this is a tutorial, so I won't take time but then if you are doing it in real life you will take time and then have a perfect selection so you can do all that you need to do to just that area and as you can see it's affecting just that part so you can sharpen only that place change the color of that place do anything you want and it will affect only that part now let's disable that just like in Photoshop let's say now we want to have something to affect the whole image but it shouldn't affect the heart you got it so with that it will be easier for us to 
get a field layer instead of an empty one. Now let me show you about that. Click on this and then field layer. So let's press M to show us this. So if we want, we don't want um, the effect to take place on the hat. We use the erase to eraser. You press E on the keyboard to access the eraser, which is here. You can just tap on this and then we disable the thing. We just brush it up, just like in Photoshop, taking out the layer mask. We are taking out the effect on the hat. So roughly, this is what we've done. So let's disable the mask. And now let's go ahead and work on the adjustment. So you see, everything we are doing here is affecting every part of the image, except where we took off the mask. See? So this has various applications you know if you want to apply certain effects but you don't want it to affect the whole image you want it to affect, you want to restrict it to just certain parts this is what you will use you use your layers in addition with your mask and then your brush or eraser to to do that this also applies to color grading. If you want to color grade, maybe just the skin or just the attire, or let's say you want to bring back details in just a dress or a specific color range, you use the same thing. You use layers too, and you can rename them accordingly. You know, create as many layers as you want. You can work on the opacity, just like in Photoshop. So if you think this is too much, you can just re work on the opacity right here. You can disable or enable layers, rename them. You know, do all sorts of things that you want. You can apply adjustments. This adjustment that we applied hasn't been applied to the background layer. So if you see, if you go to the background layer, it's raw, just like we brought it. If you go to flies, it has a different adjustment. If you go to this particular layer, it has something else. So in short, this is how to use layers in Capture One. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe so that you don't get to miss the next episodes. I hope this has been informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for watching.